Well, good morning and welcome to Massage Marketing, Business Building, and of course, morning coffee. Look at these cool hearts. How fun is that? Um, today I want to talk to you about being caught between your job and your dream. So if your dream is to be a full-time massage therapist and own your own place or maybe a spa, uh, and then, uh, but the problem is it doesn't pay all the bills, then there's some type of restructuring that has to be done in order to meet those goals. Maybe you're spending way too much on Starbucks. Maybe you're eating out too much. Maybe when you go in your office, you're buying lunch instead of packing lunch. Simple little things will put more money back in your pocket and therefore back into a savings account, which can help you do great things with your business. I know I've cut a lot of money out of my Starbucks budget simply by, I know this cup says Starbucks, but um, simply by making coffee at home. So um, also eating at home, just going that extra 20 minutes, even though like I'm crazy starving and I could stop and grab something at Panda, which I absolutely love, or just run home because I have a ton of food at home. And um, I've been opting for that. And next thing you know, more money is in my account at the end of the week. So when it comes to getting caught between your job and your business, where are you spending money that could go into paying your bills? Now, a lot of people have, say, a, a job that doesn't allow them to work part-time. Uh, maybe you lose uh, medical um, benefits, or um, if you're working Monday through Friday, nine to five, when are you going to work on massage clients? These are all really important things to think about. And I would never, Never, never recommend you quit your job, take the plunge, climb, you know, jump and, and hold your breath and hope that your massage business will support you. Never, never, never would I suggest that. But you have to kind of figure out where your time and money is best spent. So if you're trying to grow your massage business while you're working another job, then you need to balance the job and the massage business. And that takes a little bit of a uh, little bit of tricky stuff. It can be done, but you would need to find a job that maybe only has you working nights so that you could massage during the day, and uh, or or the opposite. Maybe you have a Monday through Friday job so that you can only massage in your office Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday. Are you working every day? Yes, but. Working now every day may give you the goal that you're looking for down the road. So you're going to have to have a heart to heart with yourself. And yes, you may, like someone I talked to recently, may have to go backwards and get back to your job. Now, growing your massage business can be a slow process. Maybe you only work Saturdays and maybe you only work five appointments on Saturday for the next year. And that's fine because you're honing your skills. Um, if you have a private office, what you could do is, is share that office with somebody so that you're not carrying all the expenses. There's a lot of ways to do this. And that's the beauty of having a massage license is that you can grow your business any way you want within your, within your constructs of what you need to do to meet your budget. Now, again, Cutting your expenses is the best way to start that because that gives you the freedom then to look at how your job is structured and then find out if you can go part time or find out if you could switch to a different shift or maybe take Wednesdays off. Um, you know, if you could take, say, Thursday, Saturdays, then you could massage on Thursdays and Saturdays. I know people who've built a thriving business on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So don't let anyone tell you that no one gets massages on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, or Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. I had uh, a therapist that worked for me who was always booked on Sunday and Monday. And I was, Tuesday was one of my, Tuesdays and Thursdays were my busiest days. How crazy is that? So don't let anyone tell you that Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are the heaviest days for massage. Who cares? because there are people who need massage and will come in on Tuesday. So say your job has you working uh, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, then you do massage on Tuesdays or you do massage on Sunday and you grow your business one day at a time. My suggestion is you don't, uh, you don't throw your people all over the place. So you don't have one on a Friday night and then have one on a Tuesday and then have one on a Sunday. You only are available one day. 
and, and it would be a little more difficult to do on a one day thing, but you can do it. Or if you're, like I said, work Monday through Friday, then you book appointments Saturday and Sunday, and maybe you book five on Saturday, two on Sunday, just to give them a little variety so that you have some time with your family and for yourself. So these are ways to do this. If you need more help, contact me in the comments or by messenger, and let's see what we can work out for you. But I would say keep your full-time job, put money aside, at least 10% of that aside. 10% is $10 on every 100. That is not a lot of money. That's two lattes, believe me. So if you can put $10, $20 away every paycheck into a savings account, then you have some cushion when it comes to maybe finally reducing your job or paying different bills that come up annually. And that way you have a little more control. We definitely want to get you out of the paycheck to paycheck mindset and out of the paycheck to paycheck lifestyle. So we're going to be working on that. But in the meantime, keep your job and know that building your massage business, not practice, um, may take one day a week. And when you're booked out solid every week at those five appointments on Saturday, then open up a Sunday, grow slow, and get yourself to the point where you are overwhelmed and then open up more time. Keep your business, keep your job and cut your bills and you will see some progress. Talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.